So this is the Gravistar Mars Pro Bluetooth speaker. And I mean, I've been seeing these things for a while and I always wanted to check one out. By the way, if you see Pro Mars on the front right there, it's actually Mars Pro. It's on the side right there, I'll let you know it's Mars Pro. And on this side, it says audiophile level acoustics. When I hear that, my hairs get perked up because I'm like audiophile, like, I gotta find out. It says Bluetooth 5, it got full range dual speaker system, six RGB light, 15 hour battery life, true stereo wireless, got shock absorbing structure, and it's made out of zinc alloy. I mean, let's pop this thing open and see, uh, see what the Gravistar Mars Pro has to offer. Ooh wee, I like that. So when you open the box right there, get this nice little graphics on top of the styrofoam. That is actually a shape of the speaker. It's pretty cool, I like that. And inside the box, there you got your Mars Pro sitting down. Check it out. Let's see how we get this. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Let's put it to the side for now. Let's see what else you got. You got a USB Type C to Type C. No, this is a Type C to aux cable and a Type C to A charging cable. And it got you a metal. All right, so this sci-fi inspired, futuristic looking alien is supposed to be a 20 watt speaker system. Pretty much right now, I am actually really in awe. Look at the detail, the level of details they put into this thing. Got the Mars Pro on the side right there. Got a nice little passive radiator on the back right here. Let's get it set up and see what this thing actually has to offer. Ooh -wee. I'm really liking this thing. On the tips, right here, you got these little rubber things. I'm guessing that's what they call a shock absorbent. So it could keep it, you know, the resonance down whenever the speaker start going and it's vibrating. On the back right here, you got some controls. You can probably see that. Boom, focus. Got some controls right here and on the top, I think you got a volume rocker, a volume slider. But look at the details on this thing. Under the bottom where the legs are at, you have a little USB port right here, charging it up. But let me grab a phone, let's fire it up, and um, see if it got that audiophile type acoustics. <laughs> Ooh, I see some lights, strobing lights. I guess that means it's in pairing mode. Let's get a little close up of these lights when you power it on. Got some on the back. And yeah, this thing is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Ooh. It says ready to pair. And it says Gravistar Mars Pro pair. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find something to play that is non-copyright. All right, so let's do the first test. I just wanna hear something real quick. I wanna show you guys real quick how this thing performs when you're playing it. So I'm gonna play Sweet, which is a uh, non-copyright music by Joakim Karud and Casey Andre. One of my favorite songs to test. The bass be hitting. Okay. All right, so I just discover whenever you tap the top. Really sensitive. And uh, you also get you get the haptic feedback on your phone whenever you're doing it. So not only does this feel like it has a slight haptic feedback whenever you do the volume, but you also feel the haptic feedback on your phone. You know, each increasing uh, 
All right, so I mean, in my test so far, I kind of noticed a few things, and that is that this passive radiator on the back slaps really hard. I mean, if they didn't give this thing these little rubber stoppers, it would be vibrating all over the desk. It would be moving around, and you would think it's alive because it already looks like a little alien. So this thing is really rumbling. So it's giving you a really nice, really tight, nice, rumbling bass and so far i kind of think that it has a really good sound it's actually slapping really hard the highs are really nice and clear the mids are pretty pretty decent and the bass is rumbling i mean you're not feeling that slapping sub bass but it can feel it rumbling so what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna listen to some more songs i'm gonna see if it's delivering that audio file stuff and then we're gonna come back this is a second for you uh it's probably a few hours for me Lego. All right, so here's a couple of observations that I've noticed while testing the Mars Pro from Gravistar. This thing actually feels, I mean, it feels really good. It feels super premium. It feels like whatever money you pay for it, that's what it's worth. Just the weight of the materials and the overall detail to the design. This thing just feels like, it feels like it's worth the money that is worth. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. It's super premium. And apart from that, in terms of audio delivery, it actually sounds really good. I don't have any problem with saying that the sound is actually pretty good. It's actually really good. It's just that that audio file, um, what it says on the box, it says audio file level acoustics. Bruh. I don't know if they mean that clarity in terms of the highs and the lows just coming together and actually having the mids. The mids is a little recessed, but it still sounds good. I don't know if that's what they mean by audio file level, but if that's what it is, then uh, yeah, it sounds good. I didn't hear any audio file anything because from what I get, this thing sounds like what it looks like. It looks like a really small Bluetooth speaker unique design 10 out of 10 for the design um, but it sounds like small compact bluetooth speaker and typically i mean the bluetooth speaker with these type of passive radiators and this acoustic housing design it is gonna slap it's gonna hit really hard in terms of audio quality it sounds good audiophile no nah, i didn't hear that but it sounds really good sounds really good make it sound like it's close to audio file sound then if that works for you but um it doesn't work for me i don't, I don't get no audio file nothing out of this but it do sounds good i like that also the controls pretty simple pretty simplistic you got a lighting control right over here you can switch the lights by just tapping it across from that you have a play pause button yeah so there you go as you can see the lights pulsate when it's played, then you tap the pause button and uh, yeah, it's pause. So you can pause from your phone or you can pause from this one. And then you have a Bluetooth pairing button right here. And um, I mean, that's it, really simple. And the volume rocker, the volume slider right here. It's really touch sensitive. Whenever you're playing music, it responds really fast to your touch. So as far as a really simple Bluetooth speaker, this thing gets it a conversation piece if somebody comes in and they see it they're gonna ask what's that definitely do that and i mean if you want to have some flair to your setup get yourself one of these i like the sound that it delivers i like the design 10 out of 10 for that bluetooth 5 and you also can pair two of these to get that uh stereo surround sound setup yeah like you can control the lights and um it gives you a nice light show when you listen to your music so, I mean, this is the Mars Pro from Gravistar. I dig it. I like it. It's not going to blow your mind with audio fidelity, but it's definitely going to um, fill a small room like this with some nice, good, clean sound. And if that's what you want, then this, this is your guy, the Mars Pro. This actually comes in some other colors. As you can see, this is the this is a black color, but you can get it in some other really cool colors and some other really cool design. And you even have some that are battle ready with a whole bunch of different stuff to make it look like it's battle ready. I love this stuff from Gravistar. I'm really digging it. I'm a big fan. They won me over. 
right now. And now I feel like I want to get some more stuff out of the line. Like um, they got some other speakers and some earbuds and some GAN chargers. I'm going to get that too. All right. The Gravistar Mars Pro, it got me. It won a place in my heart. It actually delivers really good clean audio and um, I like it. Tell me what you think. Do you like this alien that is coming to invade your airspace? I mean airspace, not airspace. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I definitely recommend it. If you want one for yourself, check the link in the description. If you like more videos like these, click my face to get subscribed so you can see more videos like these. I got some more cool stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, check out one of these other videos right here. Don't go nowhere. Check out one of these other videos right here. I made them for you, especially for you. Big up yourself.